and Coach Dixon's a great coach and put him in position to win the game. Um, and then we all know the importance of good guard play and LJ and Adam uh, uh, really came through. Um, 17, 4, 27. And then uh, uh, I thought the last eight minutes defensively, we, we, we finally got a couple stops. Um, they did a great job executing their stuff. Obviously, our, uh, as a staff, our game plan uh, needed to be better. I think uh, last eight minutes, we, we got back to pressure in a little more, and that helped. Uh, you know, we, we felt at the end of the day that it was time to buckle down. And, uh, you know, as a team, we wanted to be connected. And there was, you know, a lot in the sense of everything wasn't going our way. But I want to give credit to my Lord and Savior. Regardless of the situation, mm -hmm. you know, every day is not going to be our day. But he's always reliant. And, uh, you know, we depend on him. We always play for audience and one. And that's what we showed out there to stay together and play for audience and one. Yeah, he, uh, coming off uh, an injury, uh, we didn't know what to expect. And uh, uh, the guys did a great job finding him, setting good screens for him. Uh, and Adam does a great job and when guys get hot, making sure that they get opportunities. And uh, that's why he's a great leader. But uh, LJ gave us a big lift there, and then Adam gave us a big lift down the stretch. Scott, this looked like a lot different game than the first time. <laughs> Yeah, our, our uh, transition defense is, is, is improved. And with their guys out, they, they went really in interior and did a lot of stuff in the paint. And um, sometimes you overthink game plans. And we try to back off. And um, that probably wasn't the best thing to do in hindsight because they still got the ball inside. So um, in the last eight minutes, we did more what we do. And I think that helped. Well, I mean, uh, rebounding-wise, we're number one in the conference, and they had 14 to 11 second chance points on us, and we had one rebound at the half. And um, you got to give them credit. It's not like we didn't fight, but they, they just were tougher. And then second half, I thought uh, we did a better job getting to the glass and doing what we normally do. And um, But uh, I agree with Adam 100%. Uh, every day is not going to be your day, but it's a blessing when you play. And I know uh, – um, uh, praying uh, Mike gets back and Eddie gets back and we stay healthy because these are great games for for coaches and players because they're they're really hard fought the crowds are into it and they're a lot of fun and uh, they're short way of colleges uh, four years with COVID maybe five or six but it's a short time. Uh, you know, our, our toughness, you know, I feel like Coach Drew preps us for moments like this, you know, to go on the road. We know that everybody's against us, but, you know, we know what we're playing for at the end of the day. And uh, it, it just prepares us for the long haul and what we want to do, you know, come March Madness and being able to win these games just continues to prep us for just bigger and better down the road. Yeah, situational. Um, Langston, uh, LJ, and uh, uh, Adam were in a groove. We were starting to get some stops, and that's that's why you got to have depth. Every day's not your day, and uh, um, Keontae's had days where it's his day, and then uh, that's Adam. Same thing. LJ, it's, a coach has got to have depth because you got to have people step up on days where uh, it's just not your day. Adam, can you talk about your perimeter defense today? Well, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll let Adam talk. <laughs> we weren't very happy with our defense. so <laughs> Yeah, they, they did an exceptional job of, you know, cutting, moving the ball. Um, you know, credit to, you know, Coach Dixon, how he manipulates the game. Uh, we had some adjustments we had to make with the coaching staff. They came in, you know, told us what we needed to get done. And we just had to put our effort out there and just try to get the job done. Yeah, all the layups. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that. What was what was breaking down here? Do you think? Well, we tried to back up and pack it in, and I think that lack of aggression probably made it easier for him to get it inside. Um, so that's on us coaches, and 
last eight minutes, I think we, we started extending a little bit more, and that's normally what we do. So probably overthought this one. Oh, that's because we finally had somebody hit our chest. We did good defensively, so I, I was proud of the guys, and that was a great stop. And uh, at the end of, end of the day, I mean, it's tough keeping good players in front of you, and um, our guys have worked hard at getting better at it, and I was just proud of the effort on that play. Oh, it, 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 the arena and uh, where they got the students and everything. I mean, uh, I think SMU, Houston, uh, Texas's new arena, TCU's new arena, our new arena next year makes basketball a lot more uh, uh, enjoyable, a great atmosphere. Students, I think, have a lot more fun at it. Um, and it's really wise and smart to have smaller venues that are on top of you where people can get involved. and. You can ask Adam how, how he feels with that. But <laughs> <laughs> I like them big arenas where <laughs> you can't right. hear people as much. <laughs> so, uh, another quick turnaround. You've already played a couple of big Monday games. Uh, does that help having played a couple of those already going into this one? Uh, you, you learn from all your experiences, but – this is the Big 12. Every game is a battle. Every game's a fight. Uh, we'll get rest, rejuvenate, um, prepare, uh, and – try to do a, a, as good a job as we can uh, getting the guys ready in a, in a short period. And West Virginia, they've been winning more lately. What have you been seeing? Um, I, I know they played today. Uh, did they win, lose? Uh, they're going to be happy, I know. So, yeah. <laughs> um, no, they've been playing great basketball. And Coach uh, uh, Huggins does a great, great job. And I think they were coming together. I don't know what happened today. But in this in this league, if 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 you're having an off night and the other team's having an on one, it can be ugly. Uh, you know, it, it's it's definitely tough, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, we signed up for this. You know, we want moments like this to where we can play on a big Monday, and uh, we try to take full advantage of it. So we're gonna be excited. You know, we're gonna rest as much as we can and just be ready. Uh, it means a lot, you know. At the end of the day, we want to win every game, and uh, with Big 12, it's literally like a March Madness game every time we step on the court. So it was real exciting. We we enjoyed, it and we're just glad to come out with a road win because it's super tough. All right. Thank, Thank you, guys. You guys. Have a good night. Yeah.